Hello, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, my name is Deron Corbett. So I'm in a little village called Trouse for this POV and I was there for some client work and I thought I would also film a video for you guys after I was finished. Um, now there wasn't much street photography opportunities going on in the town. In fact, it was a lot quieter and more secluded than I thought it was going to be. I'd never been here before. And considering it's only like a 10 minute drive within Norwich city centre, I was quite surprised how different it felt. It's like a very nice little village with a town hall, I think, and, and stuff like that. But yeah, not many street photography opportunities. I thought I'd just jump on here anyway and just kind of use this video as a chance to catch up with you guys. So I kind of want it to feel like you're just walking in this village with a friend and we're just having a chat albeit a very one-sided chat, it's just going to be me speaking to you, but I want it to kind of be relaxed and a bit different to my usual POVs where I talk through the process of things. I kind of just want to use this opportunity to have a catch up with you about the future of the channel, some plans I have coming up. The first thing I want to say is that we're at 900 subs now and that is just crazy unbelievable. Um, it means we're like 100 away from 1k which is just blowing my mind so I definitely wanted to jump on here and just take the opportunity to say thank you to you all it honestly means so much that you all want to watch me walk around taking photos and listening to my voice like I was so reluctant to start a YouTube channel because I thought no one would like it everyone would be mean <laughs> and it just wouldn't be worth my time so i'm really happy with with how it's going and also speaking of 1k subscribers i'm planning on doing a little bit of a giveaway when i do hit 1000 subscribers now it's not going to be this incredibly amazing giveaway unfortunately i can't give away a camera or something like that to all of you but i do have an idea um, I do get a lot of questions about the camera straps that I use and I actually buy them from a local shop from where I live and I think it could be fun to do a 1k giveaway and send one of those straps to you guys. It would be an international giveaway and just kind of a way of me saying thank you. So if you are interested in that giveaway and you think that it's a good idea then let me know in the comment section down below and I will make a future video on it or maybe a post on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'd recommend going over there, a little plug. And yeah, we'll do a giveaway when I hit 1K subs. I think it would be a nice thing to do because I really just honestly want to say thank you and I want to give something back. I know it's not going to be like a massive giveaway, but you know, maybe if the channel grows and grows and grows, the giveaways will get bigger. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you've noticed in this video, but I'm actually trying a new way to mount my DJI Osmo Action camera onto my body. Body? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying a new mounting system. So usually I would use a GoPro chesty harness that would attach up to my chest um, and it would just be really obvious. I'd get a lot of strange looks. So I wanted to find something that could be potentially a good alternative. So I'm actually using the GoPro magnetic swivel clip and I'm attaching it to the strap on my Peak Design Sling bag and I actually think it's making the POV so much more immersive because it's actually showing me taking the photos a lot more than when I use the chest mount because I'm able to put it up higher. I don't know if you've noticed but I thought it would be worth mentioning. I tested it out on this POV run and I love it so it's going to be so much easier just clipping this on. I won't have to find like a secluded place in public to put on this chest harness. So I'm just super super happy I found a more discreet alternative. So yeah it was really fun actually photographing a new place that I hadn't been before. Obviously with COVID-19 and the lockdown we've only been able to stay local and even though this is local it's only 10 minutes from my house you know i never ventured further out of norwich city central so even though it wasn't the most exciting place for street photography it just felt so amazing and so refreshing to be somewhere else and that is just getting me super excited for all the places that i'm going to be able to take you guys when restrictions lift so on monday so i'm filming this on saturday march 27th so on the Monday after this, restrictions actually loosen a little bit in the UK. We're able to meet up to six people outdoors 
and the stay local kind of rule is still kind of there they're, they're saying stay local if you can but you are able to travel a little bit further now so i am really excited to go to some new places so i hope you don't mind the fact that i'm not talking through a lot of the process in this video because i feel like a lot of these photos are just so self-explanatory it's not street photography where i'm waiting to set up shots i'm literally just walking around and capturing things um, and you'll notice that a lot of these shots I'm on f8 and I'm experimenting with using an aperture of f8 to make sure that I get everything a little bit more unfocused. Usually I love to shoot wide open so 2, 2.8, 1.8, I'm always at that aperture but with street photography a few people have said to me why don't you go to f8, you might have to you know have a higher ISO but it's you have more of a chance of getting things in focus so I'm giving that a go. Lots of people also message me saying like, why don't you use back button focus, it'll change your life. And I'm gonna look into that, but I just feel like I'm so used to my workflow, if that makes sense. Like I'm so used to using the camera, how I'm using it now, learning something new. Although it might make my photography better, at the moment I'm in no rush to do that because I'm happy with my workflow, if that makes sense. But yeah, if anybody uses back button focus, let me know in the comments and try and persuade me to use it. So here I'm just doing some look up shots. It's not something I do very often, but I just really like the look of like these old buildings against the blue sky. Um, it's quite a common sight to see buildings like this in the UK, but I kind of thought, you know, people living outside the UK might not have this kind of architecture, if that makes sense. So I thought I'd just leave these in because they do look really nice. I don't know if they're Tudor or anything, like please don't hold me to that, any historians watching. But Troust was just really beautiful place. I just wish I had a little bit more going on just for my purpose of street photography. I'm sure the people that live in Troust love that it's a little bit quiet. So here I see this family walking and I capture their legs and capture this dog. I put this in black and white. I think this is the only black and white photo in this shoot just because I felt it worked well really. So this place that I'm photographing here, Coffra, is actually the reason I was in Trouse. I just popped by again to take a couple more shots but before I started filming this POV I was taking some external shots of their store because it's a new store that they are opening up and they wanted to get some nice photos of it basically. I pretty much work with Kofra on a monthly basis now since they like what I do for them, they like my photos. So I'm gonna pop their Instagram in the description down below if you wanted to check out some of my professional work, the kind of stuff I keep off YouTube a little bit. 98% um, of their Instagram are my photos. I'm not always tagged in them, but that doesn't mean they're not mine. They are <laughs> mostly mine, but I said to them, like, you don't have to tag me all the time because they're your photos, you own them. So yeah, check that out if you want to see some of my work. But that is pretty much the whole video now. So if you're new here and you like this, then go ahead and subscribe, like this video. It means a lot. It gets the algorithm going, I think, and gets my video out there. Thank you again to all of the new subs. Do be sure to pop down in the comments, say hello. I reply to all of them, but I try to anyway. Um, and I'm going to leave you with a message. I know a lot of YouTubers have sign-offs, you know, create more, stress less. Don't think, just do. Be badass, David. Shout out to you. And I've been thinking I want my own kind of little sign-off, but nothing felt right. I want something that kind of reflects the channel, my values. So I will leave you with this. Be authentically you and kind to others too. Let me know what you think of that. Maybe we can have some clothing lines in the future, like authentically you. I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's my message. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.